just like that. There we go. Right. So this is a bush bark taco. Right. Serves boozy. Yeah. That is the best one yet. Welcome to a new series we're starting this year. Um, we're still gonna think of a name, um, but it's gonna be a cook series of all the game that we, yeah, that we hunt and catch. Um, and yeah, we're gonna try and make it easy for you guys um, and make it delicious. Um, yeah, so today we have some bush buck. I think it's a combination of leg and I don't know what, um, but yeah, Paul yeah, really helped us too. out and he he butchered the meat. Um, if you're at home and you don't have time to butcher the meat, you can keep it on the bone. If you have a big enough, um, a big enough uh, container to, to put the to put the meat in into the oven. Um, so this is the this is a uh, uh, this is a, a game taco. Um, it's very nice. Um, yeah. So we're gonna start off uh, firstly to put the, to get the meat to to, to fall apart. Um, so our first step is to to take a piece of meat. We're going to insert a, a piece of garlic and a, um, a piece of rosemary and we're going to add that, um, we're going to put that in the, we're oh, going to put pot. that in the pot <laughs> and, uh, and then we're going to put some chicken stock over it and it's going to be in the, in the oven for at least uh, three hours um, and then yeah, we're going to take it from there, so stay tuned. Yeah, so it's very simple, we're firstly going to take, um, take a knife just push a few holes into 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 the into the meat. Um, you need to take a piece of garlic um, and you push it in to make sure it's all the way all the way in. And for so not just the tip. <laughs> and for this, we're gonna just make a knife for the rosemary. We're gonna. And afterwards, you can remove the because there is going to be left over, like the hard sticks of the rosemary. You can just remove that. Yeah, so that's then done. So we're going to do that with two of the pieces. We're going to put it in the pot. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So we're just quickly going to finish this up. Um, Bian is quickly going to help me out here. Um, yeah, so uh, stay tuned. So we quickly finished all the meat, um, just for you guys to know like the, the portions. So this is about 1.5 kilos of meat. Um, so it was two long rosemary sticks and about uh, two cloves of garlic that we chopped into smaller bit, bits that went in here. I think it's important not to add too much garlic because yeah, that will spoil, spoil the taste and the, the flavors. Um, you yeah, so smelling you from a mile away. And now we are going to add the chicken stock. Um, so this is about five mol, um, five grams. We're gonna add 250 ml of water, and um, just enough that the meat should should not be covered. They should just be. It should just lie in the water. Yeah. So the the top piece of the meat should still stick out. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, exactly. we're gonna add a bit of we're gonna add a bit of um, hot water just to dissolve the chicken stock. Uh -huh. And it's just chicken stock, but it's not. Yeah, it's only it. chicken stock, and it's important. Chicken stock can be very salty, and that can also yeah, if food is too salty, that's not nice at all. Um, yeah, so just have a look at your meat and see if there's enough. Liquids. So I think just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna go into the oven for at least three hours at um, at 150 degrees. Um, you can you can change the temperature as the meat will just start falling apart, and you know 
it's ready. And if oh. it's not ready after three hours, do you just put yeah, it back just, in again? Yeah, just continue until the meat starts falling apart, or if you have a whole piece, it starts falling off the bone. Then you know um, the meat is it's is, it's ready. Okay, guys. Yeah, so it's about three and a half hours. We left it in the oven, um, and the meat is starts. It, yeah, it starts falling apart. So we know it's ready. Um, so now we're just gonna pull it. We're just gonna make it like pull beef. And we're gonna put it in this um, in this bowl, and then we're gonna add uh, some barbecue, any barbecue spice, and a nice Portuguese spice, just to give it give it some extra flavor and make it nice and juicy. And then from there, we're gonna add it into the taco. Um, I'll now now show you. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start with this, and uh, yeah, you'll see. Whoa. Looks amazing. What mm -hmm. sauce is that? The composed barbecue sauce. I don't know what, but it's a barbecue sauce. A special one. It's a smoky one. Yeah, we'll have Daniel taste the first, but make sure he doesn't poison us. Oh, <laughs> 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 Deze boek. Ik weet dat hij zelf spreekt. Deze boek. Ik denk dat ze van ons. Nee, mij niet. Ons is ons geloos. Dus Adriaan of Aramson. Dus we ons huis toegevat het. Oké. Okay. Kijk, so we I'm working this sauce. Um, it's according to your taste and how you enjoy it. Um, so I felt it needed just a little bit of something extra. Okay. So a bit of ketchup. Ketchup. You ketchup. Say. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. We are not American. Ketchup. That's a tomato sauce. Okay, okay guys, yeah, so this is the heart of the taco. This sauce this is like yo, the secret sauce to make this taco extremely delicious. Um, so it's two thirds yogurt, one third mayonnaise, and then once again, two thirds um, coriander, um, and one third basil leaves. And then just a, a bit of um, lemon. Um, and yeah, then you can maybe throw in a bit of salt and pepper, but yeah, that's also according to your taste. Uh, but yeah, this is the really important part of, of this dish. So now how much is that yogurt? Like a cup? Yeah, I'll say this is a cup. It's a cup of yogurt, so two thirds. There's thick six thirds in this meal. Yeah. And then um, like a half a cup of mayonnaise. This is your neck next one here. Uh, oh, then you go with the, the basil leaves and then the coriander leaves. And just a squeeze of this. Squeeze a lemon. Okay guys, so this is the, the Tor tacos. Tortilla. Tortillas, wraps, whatever you want to call it, but you fold it like this and you eat it. Okay, so we're just going to heat these guys up and then I use a, just a muffin, muffin pan, and, muffin you, pan. <laughs> and you can place it inside so that it keeps its shape. If you're fancy, you have one of those taco keepers, but uh, this also works. Okay guys, now so we're gonna build this, we're gonna build this taco now. Just quickly, um, so over here you will see there's a salsa. Um, so it's a finely chopped red onion, cucumber and tomato. And then you also have some avocado. <laughs> and uh, for garnish we just cut up some small fresh coriander. Um, yeah, so let's do this.
just like that. There we go. Okay. So this is a bushbuck taco. Tortilla. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Come down. A pita. Let's do this. Wow. So why am I not going to do this? I'm not going to do this. That's it. Yeah. I'm not going to do this. 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 I'm not Honest opinions, guys. Guys, and yeah, if you get a smaller wrap tortilla, you can use that as well. Cheers, boys. Cheers. I'm going to next slide now. Nah, this thing is a winner. 10 out of 10, would you recommend? Hmm. Yeah, good try it out. Very nice out of nice. <laughs> it's the best one yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best one yet.